Hi cuties! Today's video is gonna be a very very personal storytelling video. Sometimes I'm a little bit scared of posting videos like that, they're so personal because I'm a little bit mad and you're all gonna find out. <laughs> but I think you've noticed already anyway. <laughs> so, today I'm gonna tell you how I moved out from Brazil to London on my own with no money when I was only 18 years of age. <laughs> But before we start with the story, don't forget to subscribe because I post videos three times a week and you can be part of this beautiful YouTube family. <laughs> and also give this video a thumbs up because it actually really helps the channel. Okay, so basically I grew up wanting to be a singer. <laughs> I've been writing my own songs for so many years, since I was a little girl and I studied music in Brazil, I used to do uh, classical singing lessons and music theory, lots of other artistic related things, ballet and... <laughs> Can you imagine me doing ballet? <laughs> And every day I started taking it more seriously, especially about my songs, because I really like writing songs and I wanted to do this for a living. But the music industry in my country is not all that. <laughs> and I always preferred writing songs and singing in English because I like rock music. I don't mean to offend anyone that does rock music in my country, but the big rock music industry, it's not in Brazil, <laughs> everybody knows that. So for years I really wanted to move to America or England because of songwriting and singing. But I chose England because of visa and bureaucratic things that I probably wouldn't be able to live in America. So I've saved a bit of money for a few years because I've been saying I would move to London for literally ages. I think since I was 13 until I was 18 I've been saying I'm gonna move to London. As soon as I turn 18 I'm going. <laughs> So when I turned 18, I already had a little bit of money I saved. So I went online and I started looking at rooms to rent. I don't know if you guys know, but it's really expensive to rent places in London. So I couldn't afford to rent a whole apartment, I had to rent a room. And I was looking and sending emails, calling them, but nobody was answering because I was still living in Brazil. So they didn't want to start renting a room for somebody that wasn't even there yet. But finally, two weeks before I moved to London, I had my ticket already and everything, but nowhere to go. I found this room in the outskirts of London with an Indian family. Well, that's what they said at the time, because obviously I didn't see the room. So I just sent them money, packed my clothes, two big suitcases and went on my own to London. My parents didn't help looking for places, they didn't come to London with me to see how things were gonna be. I just left completely on my own at 18 with two suitcases. So I arrive in London, it's winter and in my country it's always warm, it's always summer, it doesn't snow or anything and I really wasn't prepared for the winter, I was wearing just a thin jacket so I was freezing so much when I arrived in London and I went to the house where I rented the room, ta -da -da. but when I got there it wasn't just one family, it was two families living in the same little house and I had this box room that was tiny, it was literally smaller than a closet and the walls were all messed up, like all written on and all fucked up. Oh my god, sorry for swearing. <laughs> so when I got there, I sat on the bed and I thought, oh my god, what am I doing? I don't have a plan, I just came here, what am I gonna do? I didn't know anyone, didn't have a job, didn't have money enough. I think just for the first month and I completely freaked out and cried so much and got very desperate. But the next day I woke up and I thought, okay, let's do it. So I sent some of my songs I had recorded to music managers and to different places, I made some appointments, but it was a complete flop because everybody said to me my English was really bad when I was singing and the songwriting as well it was quite rubbish <laughs> so I actually got really really depressed for a long time because I thought I came all the way to a different country for nothing because all I'm doing is rubbish 
And I've actually, I've never been so sad. I think for more than a year, I've been really depressed and very upset. So obviously I needed money to support myself because music was completely not happening. So I got a job at a street market selling churros. And I had to work 12 hours a day outside in the cold with my very thin jacket. So I got quite sick as well. I started having some big lumps inside of my throat and it was absolutely terrible. It was a really, really high time. But then things started getting better when I auditioned for college to do music, of course, and I got a place. In case you don't know, college here is not the same as in America. It's something in between university and high school. So it's something in the middle. So it's not like I went to university, I went to this thing that takes two years. So I went to college for two years, it was nice. I made friends, my English got a lot better. I found another job at a clothes shop, so at least it was warm. And I started the YouTube channel that was really actually what made me stop being depressed because I felt like I had someone to talk to and friends and I felt that, like someone actually cared about what I was saying and it gave me hope that things were gonna go right for me. When I started college I was really worried that I wouldn't be able to do well on my tests and assignments because I didn't really speak English that well but I worked so hard and I studied so much that I finished college with a triple distinction star <laughs> that is like the highest grade you can get so I was really really pleased and the channel started growing as well and then I was happy and if you don't know how things are now they are finished college I got a job as a nanny and I'm starting university in September doing music as well of course and apart from that I told you already I'm recording an album it's rock music and as soon as it's ready well it's only pages four songs it's not a whole album but as soon as it's ready I'm gonna film some music videos and post them here you'll be able to download it on iTunes or Amazon etc so woo, I'm really excited things really got better since I got here but hopefully they will we'll still get a lot better <laughs> and yeah this is how I moved here <laughs> it was really hard I got really down many times but I carried on because I have a dream <laughs> and yeah I'll, I'll just never give up and I'll carry on fighting for my dreams and working really hard to make them happen and luckily I've got you my friends on YouTube that I know you'll be always by my side no matter what happens Seriously, thank you so much for being here for me and for all the comments. Every day I open my comments page on YouTube and I see all the beautiful things you say and all the people that say that I inspire them. It makes me so happy. This channel is really serious for me and I love you guys so much. From the bottom of my heart, I love you so much. So, I'm gonna end this video now because before I start getting emotional. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah.